We're gonna do brunch. Hey, 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 hey. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Everybody's staying safe, feeling healthy, everything's going well. This is my new home. Sorry I can't show it all yet. We've been working super hard on trying to get it ready. It's a little slow because the stores aren't open, so we literally have to do everything all online yeah. or curbside pickup, so it's just taking longer than we expected. But. There's a lot of knickknacks that we would like to get, but unfortunately we can't, and delivery times have been super slow due to the coronavirus right now. So the last few weeks have been super go, 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 very busy. I don't think either of us have showered yet, so I took my first one this morning. We just don't know when to take breaks, like for anything in general. If we have work to do, we don't know it's okay to take a break. We have a problem with that. Yeah. But we're gonna treat ourselves to a lovely little breakfast brunch um, from our favorite <laughs> restaurant. And just relax and have a day. Have a day. Relax. They do um, build your own mimosa. Yes. I would like that a lot, I actually. I would like that as well, actually. <laughs> Oh my god, I love us. We're gonna place that order real quick and then go pick that up and then just see where the day takes us. To the mukbang! <laughs> Hi, I'd like to place an order for pickup, please. DIY mimosa, four cheese quiche, a breakfast burrito, bacon candy, Brussels sprouts, deviled eggs, and a DIY Pop Tart. We are hungry. DIY Pop Tart, I uh, normally have 24 hours in advance or something like that. Can I put you on a little mimosa? Sure. Like, for that. Yep. <laughs> Hi, thanks for holding. Yeah, I can do the Yes! Perfect, thank you so much. Alright, see you in a half hour. Bye. Love you. Woo! Oh, I said it's about to go yeah. down. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? 20 minutes? 30 minutes. Oh, shit. yeah, we do gotta go. <laughs> I, didn't, I like didn't put two and two together. I was like, we have so much time to leave. Come on. The, the food's gonna get cold. Why are we sitting here? Sitting around, scratching your ass. Do the doing. Stop doing the doing, boxing around. We gotta go. I don't know what you're waiting for. Hey, there she is. Hey. Whoa, easy. <laughs> All of it just fall, falls everywhere. I got the important stuff. We got the juice. We good to go. Woo! Oh, here's a little cute Pop Tart kid. This is how you do it. Oh my God, it's like Blue Apron. That's really cute. We should do it after for dessert. Sure. Should we take a shot of sprinkles? What is that? Drugs. Drugs. Oh, it is. It's just a rainbow. You in 2009 and me. Okay, here she goes. Class of 2020. Oh! Watch so. Should I post a tweet and answer some of you guys' questions right now? We'll answer all the important questions like, what's your favorite item from Lazy Dog? What's your how, least favorite item from Lazy Dog? How often do you guys go to Lazy Dog? How many times have you been to Lazy Dog? Wait, where are Brussels and our deviled eggs? <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. Questions. Cheers, hot stuff. Eat some food in front of you guys. It's showtime. It's showtime. Okay, I don't even know where to start. Bacon candy. <laughs> Come on, focus on that. Anyways, it's got a whole <laughs> bunch of good stuff in it. It's got eggs, beans, some Bun, onions, buns, <laughs> French fries in it. It's got the whole the, the whole shebang. Let's go to the questions we got here. Are y'all gonna get a pet anytime soon? Probably not anytime soon. No. We love animals. Normally we're pretty go, go, go. I wouldn't want the dog to not have the love and affection um, that it deserves. Well, what are your it? ethnicities? Go ahead, Boba. You are Croatian and Austrian. I'm a mutt. Austrian, Croatian, Swedish, Norwegian. I'm white. <laughs> My Bubba is Sicilian. We're Sicilian! We're Sicilian! That's it. How is living together so far? It's really fun. Well, you're, you're the best roommate ever. <laughs> No, it's really what it does feel like. I feel like it's just like, you're my girlfriend, but also my roommate now. Right. We'll do each other's laundry. We'll do each other's dishes. Like, so far, so good. We're on some grown-up <laughs> shit. <laughs> when was your first fight? Yesterday? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. We don't fight. We have disagreements, and then we talk about it, and then that's it. Yeah, we've never had, like, a fight where it, like, escalated so much where we didn't talk or needed a break or space or anything like that. It's just be like, I want this, God. but I want this. Okay, let's meet in the middle. And then we'll figure compromise, out. Compromise, people. We gotta compromise. Cool. Like, let's figure out how to mix the two. It's a science what, project. I'm gonna see what she gonna give up. <laughs> I'm happy. That's exciting. It's life. It's life. And it's easy. How many times a day did you take a trip to the fridge? It would be more if this wasn't like vacuum sealed. Oh my gosh. Should we show them real quick? It feels like a vault door to like Chase Bank. It gave right. me trying to bust in to try to get all the money. Um, look at this door. 
There it is. It closes, then it goes. The amount of times we try to get into it is a lot. <laughs> what would be your ideal project car? You already worked on one. Oh yeah, I don't know if I've really talked about it a lot, but my first car was a 1973 Mustang Mach 1 me and my dad built. It took a couple years, but it was really fun. But if I was to work on another project car, I've been really into classic 911s, and then I also really like the Jaguar E-Types. What about you, Bubba? I would like to work on one of those Volkswagen vans or something. Ooh, nice. Also, I really like the, like the Chevy trucks, whatever. Like classic Chevy truck? Mm -hmm. It'd be really cool to work on like an RV or a bus. Do like a transformation one, yeah. that would be sick. It'd be cool to have a really big yard and like have like a bus or something in the back and renovate it really cool to mm. be like the guest house and the guest, it has like a little shower and a kitchen, like everything that they need. We were talking the other day, I wish we could do it here, but we're renting this spot, but one of those Airstream trailer, but turned into a bar where the thing like popped. So cool. People were asking why I left the house in Porter Ranch. They're like, why are you moving so much? Okay, I was renting the house, my lease was up, I was doing month to month and I wanted to be closer to my friend group. You don't want to rush into buying. Right. And I was looking I was looking at buying, but I'm just I'm not ready yet and it's expensive. Take my time. It's really expensive here and uh, just wanna wait it out and make sure I make the right decision and take my time and Get what's right for us. I feel like we like this house so much that I we're know. gonna already ask them to do another year. When you guys decide to move from LA, where do you wanna live? Oh, get out of LA? Yeah. Anywhere else. <laughs> if our family was on the West Coast, I would move down to San Diego so fast. Mm -hmm. There's this area called Temecula that's gorgeous. It's an amazing area down by San Diego. It's like a couple hours from here. I love the vibe of the West Coast. Like. Everywhere that I've been, um, it just sucks that both of our families are on the East Coast. So it's like kind of stuck in that. He's situation. a mom's boy. I am. A mom. I miss my mom. <laughs> Tell us your favorite memory of Corey. It was really cute uh, when my mom came into town recently. We met up with them at a bar, and my mom and Corey met. And my mom's name was Corey also. So oh, yeah. when they were talking, they realized they were both Corys, and like they just had a blast, and they were really excited. And um, just seeing them interact was really cool. And my mom afterwards, we walked away and she was like, he's so sweet, like I really like him. First impression is always so positive. Like I remember when my cousin came out, she went out with everybody and she was drinking and Corey was the first to step up and be like, I'll watch her, like go have fun. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like just so sweet. We love you, Corey. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about the new house? My favorite thing is the game room, the fun room. I love the kitchen. Overall, I just think it's very comfortable. Oh, uh, I would do that again. Spicy. What the it's hell happened? Cake. It was baking candy, now it's- There's like chili flakes on it. What are you looking forward to the most post-corona? Going out with all my friends. Yeah. I can't wait for all of us to like get together and have like a huge like dinner somewhere. I think it really made me appreciate my friends even more. Yeah. And appreciate restaurants and little- You take everything for granted, but that's yeah. one thing that we've learned from all this. Just to be more appreciative of everything. Right. I'm excited to golf again. I'm excited to take class again. How are you staying mentally healthy? It definitely helps having each other. Like if we realize one of us is losing it a little bit, we bring each other back down to earth. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> all right. We're not gonna die. We're all right. How do you get a girl to notice you? <laughs> Go ahead. Uh -huh. I'll take it away. You're asking the wrong person. I'm not cool. <laughs> I'm don't try to be cool. Just be yourself. If they notice you, they notice you. If they don't, they don't. Our next question. <laughs> and that wasn't meant to be. Is there anything you regret doing? If so, would you change that? No regrets. Sounds cliche, but I don't regret anything I've done. I've done a lot of stupid things that I probably shouldn't have, but I feel that they made me the person that I am today and I wouldn't be where I am if I didn't do the things that I've done. So don't look back on something and be like, oh, I made a mistake. And um, if you did, you're, you're gonna learn from it. Like, that's what I think about too. Like, I wouldn't, I didn't do bad stuff, but I've like been to rock bottom where I was just like, didn't know what I was doing in life, didn't have money. I would not be where I am today without that. Like both of us, we didn't give up. Right. We just like pushed through it and figured it out and that made us stronger and like more successful than we used to be. Our parents love us to death, but they didn't like baby us or cradle us or like give us this, give us that. So, like yeah. my mom was like, you'll figure it out. You'll be fine. You don't realize what you'll do and what you're capable of until you are at rock bottom. Sometimes you need to be there in order to grow and better yourself. Some people You can, can only go up from there, from rock bottom. So I highly suggest visiting. Check it out. <laughs> Stay there too. It's really nice. <laughs> just be grateful. Even if you have nothing, just be grateful because I feel like we were both the same way. We were just, we were grateful. It sucked, but we were grateful and Good things came out of it, right? Right. Yeah, just be grateful no matter what stage or part of your life you're at. Mariah or Zane? Oof. <laughs> tough, tough, tough. Hmm. Water sports or snow sports? Ooh, I say snow. I grew up on water sports because I hadn't seen snow until six months ago. Um, I grew up on snow sports. And she hadn't seen water. 
I grew up on boats, wakeboarding and kneeboarding and tubing and all sorts of stuff like that. But then I just recently got into snow, snow sports like snowboarding. I really, really like it. It's a totally different feel. Yeah, I just think I haven't had experience in water. Like I played like volleyball in pool. That's fun. Water sports. Handstand competitions underwater is fun. Tips to deal with a breakup. Same thing we've been saying. Everything happens for a reason. Something even better is gonna come out of it. Clearly. Remember, it's not you, it's them. They're the problem. <laughs> Where's Heath with the cowboy hats and boots? The cowboy boots and the hats are in the closet. They got a little dust on them because he got me fun of. <laughs> People are nasty and they talk. People were judging me and assuming things about me. Instead of addressing those assumptions, he I undressed the assumptions. I took the childish way out <laughs> and I, I changed my clothes. If YouTube wasn't a thing, what would your occupation be? I went to school to be a cop, but to be honest, between the two of us, but there's only one other person watching. <laughs> I get one viewer. I don't think it would have happened. <laughs> I don't think I would have got hired. I feel like you'd want to do cooking. I might have done that. I probably would have ended up going and working at a restaurant and trying to work my way up. What about you? If it wasn't for YouTube. Oh, if it wasn't for YouTube, what would I be doing? <laughs> if it wasn't for you, what would I be doing, honestly? Well, I still do what I would want to be doing. I wanted to teach dance, I teach dance. I wanted to go to bartending school and I wanted to do interior design. Yeah. Okay, that's I another- I'm obsessed I with houses. always wanted to be a realtor. Maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll do it together. We'll do something in the house. Peter Mariah's uh, realty. Because we keep it real. <laughs> we have the bus stop bench where we're just like- And that's on good salesmen. And that's on finding your dream home. <laughs> How tall are you both? Am I 5'2 or 5'3? I'm gonna I think I'm a ruler. I think I'm 5'11. You 5'10, I think. Shut up. Are you? Okay. We are. Penn State. 5'10. Oh, I'm 5'11. Oh, I'm 5'11. Oh, I'm 5'11. I'm 5'11. Are you sure you're 5'11? Yeah, I'm 5'11. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm 5